Hello, Internet. She says, Love you. My name's Cody, and this is the Christian News Show we do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That being said, I hope you guys had an amazing Easter. If you partook, I hope that you had a safe 420. Personally, I did not partake because I don't smoke weed or anything for that matter. Though I'm not like condemning you if you did. I don't think that it's sinful to smoke marijuana necessarily. Though I did want to say, if that held prominence over you celebrating the resurrection of your king, you may want to question your relationship with the guy that pretty much saved your entire eternity. And that right there is pretty much the biggest reason I want to have a video today. We can do whatever we want now. In fact, I think we should just look at pictures of adorable bunnies. No, not that bunny. Let's, new, different bunny. There we go. Look at that cute little bunny. Look at him having nothing to do with the resurrection of Jesus. I am in that kind of mood today. All right, let's do some news. And I even kind of fail at this, because this first story is not something that I would exactly consider news. You most likely know that X-Men Days of Future Past is coming out pretty soon. And usually when a movie comes out, they try to do new ways of advertising said movie. And so this isn't really any different. They have this website, and it's kind of cool. You get to see the history of the mutants. Well, the reason that we're talking about this is because they have on this website this little history segment about Pastor Bob Bell. If that name seems a little bit familiar to you, it may remind you of this guy. And it's kind of interesting because Bob Bell is not exactly painted in a very pretty light. Pretty much, he's a televangelist who's completely against mutants. Which is definitely interesting to me because Pastor Rob Bell is much more of like a universalist, all-inclusive kind of guy. Like, if I was going to name this pastor, I would have gone with a name more like uh, Ned Phelps. They just seem to paint us as hateful, judgmental, and not willing to open up dialogue for anyone. And the big sad part of all that is, for a lot of us in the Christian world, they're not that wrong. And I just want to remind everyone that the only people that could change that stereotype would be us. And I wouldn't say our next story is a Christian news story, but it is something that I had to share because, duh, the guy's insane. So there's a 16-year-old kid in California who just decided he was going to go to Hawaii. So he goes to the airport in Santa Jose and he jumps the fence and he decides to climb up into the wheel well of an airplane. And I don't know if he knew this or not, but most of an airplane is pressurized and it's easy to breathe. It's a good temperature and everything. But the wheel well, on the other hand, is not one of those places because, you know, people usually aren't up in the wheel well of the airplane. And so this poor kid had little to no oxygen and negative 80 degree weather. Somehow, and this is not a normal thing, so kids don't try to do this or anything, he survived and has no health issues whatsoever. Which is surprising because he definitely fainted probably around 10,000 feet, they think, and then didn't wake up until an hour after they had landed the plane. He is not being charged with anything, which I think is very cool of them, but I know the fact that he is not getting charged can make a lot of kids go, man... Hawaii does sound really nice. So again, lucky to live, don't do it. And for that, we go to the final story of the day, which was just a finding that I saw today. A university in China has found that if the country continues the pace that it's going, it will become one of the most Christian nations in the entire world. And this has been found by them looking at how many people are going to church, which is obviously a pretty good indicator, and also just some general interest in Christianity. Now, this is kind of astonishing to think about because right now there are only 247 million Christians in China. There's about 1.3 billion atheists in China. In other words, they have a long ways to go before they get to be the most Christian nation in the entire world. But I think that just makes it even crazier that as far away as they are right now, the pace that they are growing within the next 15 years, they could be the most Christian nation in the world. That's like source-fed YouTube subscriber status. So yeah, prayers out to China to keep on the good pace. So yeah, I think this is like the most not dark YouTube video I've made in forever. Go humanity. <laughs> and that brings us to the question of the day. And the question of the day today is, if you could go anywhere in the world and not be stowed away in a wheel well because it's incredibly dangerous, where would you go? I know for me, there's two places. There's Australia because I've just, ever since I was a little kid, wanted to go there. So that's first on the list. And then Japan. I would love to go to Japan just because it seems awesome. And not like the peaceful farm part of Japan, like where they have the giant Gundam statues and things, Japan. So as always, I want to know what you guys have to say. Please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. My last video, I asked you guys what was your favorite YouTube channel, and somebody said the Skate Guys, which I totally agree with. You should go check them out. As always, my name is Cody Arbery, Christian News in a not so boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like, subscribe. I'll see you later, and God bless.